Welcome back to another Motobar video. It's been a little while since I've posted anything about my Triumph Street Twin, but this saddle arrived for review from Crafton Atelier and it's such a nicely made piece that I just had to make a video about it. Now before I start, can I just add that if you're new to the channel, please do hit subscribe to see more videos about the Street Twin and a whole bunch of other bikes from the events that I go to. I've been considering a bench seat for quite some time now. The seat is the biggest stock item left on my Street Twin and although I don't mind how it looks, a flatter seat would give the bike a bit more of a custom look. And although I'm not the tallest rider, the low seat height of 750mm on the bike can feel a bit cramped to me at times. Most of the bench seat options add a couple of centimetres to this as well as the ability to slide back and forth on the saddle. But there's been one big issue stopping me all this time from getting a bench seat. One of my favourite mods on my bike is the new Rage Customs Tail Tidy, or the Tron Light as some of you like to call it. I really like how it shortens up the back end of the bike, and it was one of the first parts that I bought when I got the Street Twin because I absolutely knew that that was how I wanted the bike to look at the back. But most of the bench seat options are much shorter at the back and that means that they don't hang far back enough to cover the tail tidy. So when I saw on Instagram that Crafton Atelier had started making a bench seat specifically to work with the NRC tail tidy, I was straight onto their DMs to inquire about a saddle for review. For a bit of background, Crafton Atelier is a small workshop and design studio based in Bangkok in Thailand. They primarily offer handmade saddles to fit Triumph Modern Classics, but they've got a number of other parts in the works too. The saddle that they've sent me is their Rambler, and you can get this as a standard seat or in the New Rage Cycles Tail Tidy variant, and it comes in at just over 200 quid, which is pretty much the going rate for a bench saddle from other suppliers. In terms of colours, you can choose either Nero, which is black, or Cigar, which of course is brown, and you can choose from either a tuck and roll or diamond stitching pattern. Each saddle is then handmade with a 10 to 15 day lead time before being shipped out to you. I was really pleased with the quality of the saddle when it arrived. It's made from PU leather, which has a nice feel to it, and the seat pan is made from lightweight fiberglass. The locking system's made from stainless steel as well, which feels more durable than the plastic of the stock model. I think the stitching is beautifully done as well. This is a full tuck and roll, so it reaches right around the outside of the saddle, but you can also opt for a half tuck and roll with plain sidewalls. I also really like this little CA logo stamped on the back corner there and I think that's a subtle way to brand a product. The only limitation of the saddle for our British roads and weather is that a rain cover is provided for those really wet days as the stitching isn't fully waterproofed. Personally I don't mind it so much as I tend not to ride on the worst days but it's a nice thought to include the cover. Anyway, let's take a look at how this saddle looks on the bike. For me it's a big improvement on the stock saddle. The flatness is more in keeping with all of the other mods that I've made to the bike and you can also tell that there's a lot more craftsmanship gone into this item than the mass produced stock seat. It adds a bit of quality to the bike where it was missing before and of course it fits with the NRC tail tidy perfectly. I've done quite a bit of riding on the saddle before I made this vid and I really really prefer the riding position. If you want to make your Street Twin feel a little bit more like the recently released Speed Twin, a bench seat to lift the seat height is definitely the first step. It gives you a little bit more leg room but also puts you a bit further up and over the bars. I also really appreciate the ability to slide back and forth in the saddle on longer rides to change position and stop my limbs from seizing up. The seat also feels a little bit more padded than the stock seat, which some owners complain as being a bit too harsh, so for some riders that might be a big benefit too. All in all, I'm really happy with this saddle. It's a great looking seat that improves the riding position as well, and it's nice to know that it's a quality piece of handmade kit coming out of a small business. 
If you're considering one, I'd really recommend messaging Crafton on Instagram if you've got any questions at all because I found them super helpful and friendly. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.